Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Skip, and you're watching High Volts Gaming. Today's episode, we're playing some spin tires. We got a couple of sweet mods, uh, mods loaded in here from CCS's garage. We got the Chevy 3500 HD and the Zombie Edition Ford F-150. Today we are on the Baja 5150 map. Let's go ahead and scroll out here a little bit and take a look at this map. Absolutely huge map. And it's just uh, basically Baja style trails and different uh, stuff like that. So we're going to explore it here. Basically see which one of these will dominate the Baja track. So we're going to go ahead and put them both to the test. We're already in the Ford. So let's go ahead and lock her in and take off here. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the diff locks unlocked. See how it does. I'm also using my Logitech G920 steering wheel today. So the way I have it set up, I only have five gears. So I'm not sure if these vehicles have more than five gears, but we'll only be seeing five of them today. So anyway, I also run the latest version of Spin Tires Plus mod. Uh, they just came out with a new version, actually. Uh, version 8 is now out and available for download. I got it from SpinTires.nl. You can shoot on over there and grab it for yourself if you haven't upgraded to the new version or haven't been playing with Spin Tires Plus mod yet. I definitely recommend it. I like it a lot. We're cruising right along in the Zombie Edition F-150. Got a little bit of air there. Sort of, um, sort of uneventful so far here, just cruising. Maybe we should hook the Chevy to the back of this thing and bring it along since it's obviously a pretty big size map. Go ahead and pull up the. It does look like there might be one little area of mud in the middle here that we will be coming up on. So I guess if we would have just kept on going. We would just made it right around that little loop there, but we cut through the infield or whatever. That's all right. Come on, Ford, let's roll. Let's go over there and investigate that little mud bogging area. A little water crossing or whatever section. Splash and slow us down none. Definitely a cool map here. Everything looks really good on it. Looks like we got a uh, more hardcore sort of off-roading section up there we'll have to check out as well. But uh, overall pretty cool map. Definitely a big open uh, map here do some cruising around on no problem if you want to be able to cover some ground not be stuck in the mud for an hour it's always a nice change of pace to get out of the mud sometimes and spin tires there's our garage back over that way I do believe I'm going to cut across the field here and see what's up with this mud hole oh there's a couple trees there water crossing section here I guess out in the desert yeah there you go spin it around oh, what's this say rock course okay the rock course lock in the diffs no problem so far for the zombie edition Ford that's a big rock. It's just nose right up to it. Hope for the best. <laughs> Luckily, it worked out for us that time. Showing some flex there. Getting right on over those rocks. All right, come on, baby. Stalled out there in wrong gear. Definitely just nosed right up to that boulder. We can't do nothing with that. There we go. There we go. We got a little bird's eye view up here. This actually looks like a pretty good rock crawling course. It seems to me, I don't do a lot of rock crawling, so maybe I'm not the best at it, but every time I get on a rock crawler map, the rocks are so intense and so crazy that you can't get anywhere. This right here seems to be, you know, there's definitely rocks. We're crawling over them, but we're actually getting somewhere. So you're not just feel like you're just sitting there stuck spinning your tires and spin tires. I know that might be a little bit ironic, but you're not just stuck sitting there spinning. You're actually going somewhere, which is 
you know, what I try to do, of course. You don't want to just sit there spinning tires just because that's the name of the game. That wouldn't be crazy. That wouldn't be cool. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe you're into that kind of stuff. Anyways, I think that's a pretty dang good test for the Ford there. Let's go ahead and jump into the Chevy. We'll do the same thing. Four-wheel drive. Diff locks uh, open. Open differentials for now. We got that nice diesel engine in this sucker. Sounds good. And right through the middle. <laughs> Again, we're cruising here, fifth gear. This truck feels like it might be a little bit quicker. And like I was saying, I might not be actually getting them into the top gears. That other truck may have six gears. This may only have five. I don't know for sure. Like I said, I only have a six-speed shifter here hooked up. And normally for reverse, you'd have to actually push it down and go into reverse. And that just really bothers me. I don't like doing that. So I always just assign the sixth gear sort of slot for my reverse. So that way I can just slap it into reverse, no problem. So that kind of limits me a little bit here. But it doesn't take away from it too much, especially since... Normally on spin tires, you're not in a high gear anyway. Chevy definitely act like it wanted to get a little bit loose there. Slide out a little bit. This time we actually made that full corner on that turn there. Like I said, this is a huge map. We're definitely not going to be able to see all of it. We're going to check out a couple of cool things here. We've already kind of kind of checked out the rock crawler course. Maybe we should go right here for. Oh, that that is the rock crawler course. Maybe there's another course that starts over here or something. Okay, the rock crawler course goes out there, and then there's this inner sort of course here as well. You can take. Let's go ahead and go on over there and check that out. This is becoming less of a Ford versus Chevy video and more of a exploring this map video. But at any rate, do let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite truck. Which one would you like to jump in and take out on the trails? I'll pick this uh, diesel powered Chevrolet right here myself. Although that Zombie Edition F-150 is a pretty nice truck. I am a Chevy guy, I would definitely pick a Chevrolet, especially when they're two beautiful brand new four wheel drives like these two, uh, you know, it definitely would be, uh, you know, hard to pick, you know, definitely hard to pick the better truck or whatever, whichever one you ended up with would be great, but if you had to pick, what the heck, what the heck happened, just lost all power, maybe I made a bad pick, come on, what the heck, just falling out in fifth gear. What the heck? What the heck is going on with this thing? I don't know what happened to this Duramax. Apparently, <laughs> apparently I should have picked them forward. Oh well, let's see if we can lift our way up the hill here. So definitely a cool, cool map here. Uh, you know, all kinds of different terrain here. No mud really to do any mud bogging, but definitely a cool map to cruise around on. This would be awesome to do some some multiplayer with it. What the heck is up with this Chevy, man? This is going to drive me crazy. So it's definitely cool to see. It's got like sort of a, you know, more kind of up in the hills a little bit more. There's some trees up here. You're out of the desert a little bit. So it's definitely cool to see the different areas on this map. And I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below which one's your favorite truck, which one would you pick. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.